We're back. Miss us? Sheesh. Well, we're gonna show <laughs> I like monotone. We're gonna show the process yeah, we're of the super candle excited making and <laughs> to show the process and basically. But he got a new hat, I think she's cool, uh Yeesh. Yeah. So but we're gonna document our process of making the candles today, which we've been keeping on the wraps for a long time. But we're finally gonna show it. A little BTS, a little TikTok content packing some orders maybe actually only making it today because it's going to take a few hours to obviously yeah like, they got a set they got a set so but for sure showing the process of making the wax melting the wax basically from start to finish so we're going to show you like basically how we measure things what the process looks like so it's not only melting the wax pouring the fragrance has to do with the temperature that it's at all those good things this is specifically for the wax that we use so Fun fact is all waxes are different. They have different melting points, pouring points, fragrance points, all of those things. We could nerd out all day on them, but we're not going to. Nerds. So, um, we're just gonna kind of show you a quick visual of the process that we do um, to make sure that our candles come out top notch and the, the perfection that we want. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's do it. All right, so first thing we're going to do is measure out the amount of ounces that we need, which SZA is a 14 ounce candle. So right now we're going to measure out 15 ounces um, to give it like that one ounce buffer while it's melting and stuff. It can kind of like disintegrate. So the rule of thumb. You got your sticker. Shout out Habil for this sticker design. Yeah, thanks. Um, this is a serratic. 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 Ceratic, is that right? Uh, ceratic acid, so it helps with the hardening process and keeping the color um, for our wax. So you don't do a whole lot of it. I usually use like a spoonful, but it also depends on how much, how many ounces you're doing in your candle. So right now I'm just gonna do about two little tablespoons for the 15 ounce candle. Just a little bit. It's not necessary in any way. We just do it as like a protection of measure. Um, and you don't have to like mix it or stir it or anything. So we're just gonna go turn on the wax melter. That's a cool shot. All right, so we're gonna pour our wax in the wax melter that we have here. The thing about our wax is it's a paraffin soy blend. So the melting point is pretty high, it's 180. Um, so we're gonna get it to that point. We're gonna go actually a little bit over, so around that 200 range, because you have to account for the next steps, the fragrance and pouring. So as it cools down, we wanna make sure that we have enough time. Quick tip about the wax. Um, so when it's melting, it's really tempting to stir it. However, stirring causes a lot of bubbles that you can and can't see in your wax. So we try not to stir it pretty much at all. Um, we stir maybe once while it's in there and then another time when we pour the actual fragrance to just make sure that this process has helped us so much to ensure that there's no bubbles when we pour. I'm gonna hand it over to Serge, who's gonna tell you the next steps that we're gonna go through. Like, I'm the guy. <laughs> yeah. Bro, you're no one's guy. Shark attack. <laughs> I just don't know what to do with my hands. Put them in your pocket, bro. Lock them up. Jesus. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna prep the molds, and then we're gonna measure out the fragrance. Cut, 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 cut. All right, guys, so next we're gonna prep the molds to pour our liquid wax into. So making sure there's no dust particles, no little specks of anything because obviously that, that will reflect off the wax when it solidifies so we're going to prep that and then we're also going to measure out the fragrance amount uh per candle so it's 0 0.8 yeah 0 0.8 to one ounce somewhere 0.8 yeah um of amount per candle so we're going to prep that and that's what we're going to show before and after okay so paying attention to these small little details is really important because it'll reflect we're gonna show you guys our first candle compared to our 
you know, ready to go send Bro, out to customers' candles. We're so. saving you. <laughs> we're saving you. So show. This is Swiss cheese. Yeah. Let me see. This if is you can, Swiss scissor. If you see all of those bubbles, that's so this, not what we want. This can be from a number of things too. This can be from pouring your uh, your wax too fast in your in your silicone. This can be from stirring too much. This can be from the temperature of what you poured it at. So all of those things we kind of had to go through and basically deduct each reasoning. So we changed the temperatures of what we were pouring at. We changed the stirring methods, all A through Z to finally get this. Masterpiece. So that's what I say when I say that these things are specifically for us and for our silicone and the, the weight of our candle, what we're doing with it, the wax that we're using, everything. So these are details that can hopefully help you um, if you're trying to start this, but also it's kind of tailored to the details and the things that we're using too, so. so look at the difference. You can actually read the font. Yeah. And look at all the wave texture. All the waves texture on her, no bubbles. This is just the effect of the waves on her album cover. Yeah. So. We probably went through what, like 17, 20 candles? before we like Bef like it. in between those two is a good like 15 to 20 candles to yeah. get that so so we're just glad that we finally got it and we literally if you think this shit's easy it's not easy this is science this is this science. is albert einstein stuff bro i don't know why you always have to be judging me because i only believe in science but tonight we are going up against Satan's caveman. And I just thought it would be a good idea if you... <laughs> We're ready to prep the molds. So, I'm about to go clean up. Like we said, making sure everything's off it. No debris, no dust particles, nothing. And then pour the... What else are we gonna do? Fragrance? Yeah, the fragrance. We're gonna pour and measure the fragrance. So making sure there's no dust. It's not dusty. No dusty, crusty, no musty. Dusty, crusty, musty. crusty, dusty, musty, rusty. So really we're worried about all of these little, because this is such a detailed piece, any particles or even from when we rinsed it. So every time we make a candle and we're not pouring like back to back to back, if it sets for overnight or a few days or whatever, um, then we make sure that we rinse it out with warm water and let that sit and then we let them air dry. So right now we're basically just making sure that there is no leftover water from when we rinsed it earlier, and then just any particles that could have set from the house and whatnot. Okay, so we're gonna take it a step back before we, we pre-cleaned it, and now we're gonna clean it again because this might get a little messy, but we poured a new silicone mold, so we need to puncture a hole for the wick Usually you would like kind of measure it out, see where your wick needs to go, but we have a pretty solid placement for the wick just because our words are straight in the middle. So basically I'm just gonna puncture a hole straight on this side, straight on this side so that the wick can bead straight through. I'm gonna use a toothpick. This is Dakota's family member. That's crazy. Bro, Adonis is ass. Why does the head come off? <laughs> bro, oh my gosh. You broke it, bro. No, he was already broken. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Dude, that looks good. Dude, Adonis is ass and you're ass. Dude, you broke my Mario, bro. I was telling Dakota if... If he was ever to sign anybody on a feature, me, it'd be her. Me, bro. freaking Adani and Wavy. <laughs> All right, so we have our molds which are clean. We're just going to check the wax real quick, make sure that it's at about 200 degrees, so we have enough room to pour the fragrance, let it sit for a second before we pour. So let's see what temperature it's at. All right, so it's right at about 200, which is good. We can even turn it up just a little bit, and then we're gonna go for the fragrance, and we'll be able to measure 14 ounces of this, 
Put in the fragrance at 185 degrees and then we'll be able to pour it. Ready to pour the fragrance, 0.8 fluid ounces. So let's do this. Point eight. It's very not accurate, but I mean, it seems about right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It goes like I got stop it at point eight and then it goes to one. This is going to. This is room temperature, which is like what seventy degrees in this apartment. So when you pour this and your wax, which is. 185 degrees it's going to rapidly cool that down mm -hmm. so we're going to heat this with a heat gun just a little bit um, because if you also pour your fragrance at too high of a degree let's say we poured it right now at 200 um, it would burn through the scent and it wouldn't be as strong as it is right now and we don't want that so we're going to heat this up just let it stay warm and then that way when we pour it anywhere from 185 to 190 degrees it cools it down not so rapidly, and then we'll still be able to pour it at a good temperature. So we have our heat gun, and we're just going to heat up the glass. I'm just gonna kind of turn it, maybe for like 30, 45 seconds. We also use like the foam boards and like cork boards and stuff like that to keep um, it from hitting the cold counter. So like all of our silicones are on these kinds of platforms just because when you pour it on the counter you have to think about how much how cool your counter is as well or whatever surface you're using so that's also a tip that we've learned we're at the point where we can put our wick through leaving just a little bit of room at the bottom to cut that out so we don't use this metal tip at all um, we just cut it off and then Make sure the candle is flat and then we have enough room to properly trim it at the top. All right, so we have our thermometer ready and Serge is going to hold the wax melter. 14.4, yeah. Temperature is 193. So we try to pop bottle bottles. We try to pop, yeah. we try to pop bubbles that are in the in the um, liquid wax before it starts solidifying too much, uh, especially if your mold has like a lot of details, where you have to kind of like get rid of the air that's captured within pouring it. Um, you just have to make sure, because then that'll reflect off when it solidifies, and you want to get rid of as much of uh, the bubbles as you can. All that I can be for you. Sheesh, got that on video. Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> Alright. Well, we got somebody blow drying their hair over here. <laughs> yeah, one second. Crazy. Okay. About to pour the second one. Adding fragrance. Perfect. About 181 degrees right now. We gotta wait. Actually, just about an hour, right? Yeah. Stop pulling. Go ahead and do it. So yeah, after we finish pouring this, um, now we just wait for it to heal, solidify. This was kind of already obviously in the process of it um we wait about what we say four to six hours minimum probably yeah about six but we do like to leave it um just overnight and then just kind of like remove it from the mold the next morning and i finally you know obviously see what it looks like so that will be the next step but that's pretty much where the most uh I guess steps at the beginning of getting it prepped, getting it poured, and then the end is just obviously like removing it from the mold. So, yeah. So talk to you guys in the morning when we demold this hoe. Gee, what are you doing? Bro, my freaking chonies needed to be adjusted. I can never have peace here because... We have peanuts. 
We got peanuts and we got cards. Miss Scissor. Mm -hmm. Comfort house. And then. Like you can't tell it's her, but then you can when you notice it. And then message it. in the back for y'all. Yeah. But yeah. So now we're going to we're gonna show the demolding process because yesterday's was... Ass! Yeah, it was a fail. So Shit happens when you make things by hand, you know? We're going to see it and then pour some more. So let's keep it going. Ah. But yeah, we're going to open this one. Um, this is the demolding process. We got to cut the bottom. Remove the excess wick from the bottom. And then... Remove it from the mold. Moment of truth. And then just be very slow because, especially when it's like small detail, you don't want to be too quick with it. Hi. That's crazy. Pull the wick from the silicone and then voila the mold is perfect it's just a little it's just dirty and that's the challenge we're facing right now it's like not having it um, come out as clean it having dust particles and stuff I don't know if it's picking it up but yeah dude I try to clean it as much as I could mm -hmm. 